All right. Uh, good evening, commissioners. Um, thank you for joining us for our meeting on January 6th. Um, Chair Naga, um, we do have a quorum. Um, so uh, we are ready to get this meeting started if you'd like to unmute yourself. Okay, um, I would like to call to order the Harry Borofsky Youth Memorial Commission regular meeting of January 6, 2022. This meeting is being held by teleconference due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we appreciate everyone's patience as we navigate this Zoom meeting process. Commissioners and city staff are participating from remote locations and all votes will be taken by roll call. Members of the public can participate in the meeting or watch it by going to malibucity.org slash virtual meeting. At this screen, you can click on the tab to either just watch the meeting or to sign up to speak on particular items. Those who wish to speak during the meeting should follow the instructions at malibucity.org slash virtual meeting. Please make sure you visit malibucity.org slash virtual meeting early to sign up to speak and download the Zoom application. The recording secretary will call on those who have signed up to speak when the item is called. So you must be present in the Zoom meeting to be recognized. Commissioners, if you have any comments to make during this meeting, please raise your hand and I will call on you in turn so we can make our discussion clear for the record and the public. All right, we'll move on to um, commissioner roll call. Um, so just unmute yourself and please say here or present. Uh, commissioner Abby. Here. Commissioner Arledge. Here. Commissioner Amar. Commissioner Aspen Aragon. Here. Commissioner Austin Aragon. Here. Commissioner Allegra Barzon. Absent. Commissioner Garrett Button. Absent. Commissioner Tyler Button. Absent. Commissioner Cortese. Absent. Commissioner Kylie Epstein. Present. Thank you. Commissioner Logan Epstein. Here. Commissioner Fisher. Here. Commissioner Kelly. I'm so sorry, Commissioner Guzman. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Loke. Commissioner Matthew Mayshoss. Commissioner Michael Mayshoss. Commissioner Cooper Norby. Here. Commissioner Hank Norby. Here. Commissioner Axel Polito. Here. Commissioner Layla Polito. Here. Commissioner Layla, sorry, um, let's see. Commissioner Jacqueline Reynaga. Here. Commissioner Nicole Reynaga. Here. And Commissioner Webster. Here. Okay. Um, just to double check, these are the commissioners I have absent. So if you are here, please unmute yourself if this is incorrect. So I have Commissioner Amar is absent. Commissioner Barzon, Commissioner Garrett Button, Commissioner Tyler Button, Commissioner Cortese, Commissioner Kelly, Commissioner Loke, Commissioner Matthew Mayshoss, Commissioner Michael Mayshoss. I, uh, Commissioner Cortese, I'm here. I'm just getting, had troubles with my computer getting okay. on. All, but we're right. on my All right, thank you so much, India. Yeah. All right, um, Chair Rinaga, we are good to move on to the next item on the agenda. Uh, sorry, would that be the Pledge of Allegiance? Or yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance. Got it. Okay. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Thank you. Um, Go ahead, Lauren. We're just gonna go ahead and get a share screen set up for you guys. And then we are gonna go to um, approval of agenda. And Commissioner Kelly is entering the meeting right now. Okay, okay so right now we are on approval of agenda. So if we can please get a motion and a second to approve the agenda. I, Jazz Abbey, make a motion to approve the agenda. I, Cooper Norby, second that motion. Wonderful, thank you. Um, next slide, Lauren. Okay, so I'm only gonna read the names of the commissioners who are present tonight. Um, Commissioner Abbey? Approved. 
Commissioner Arledge. Approved. Commissioner Aspen Aragon. Approved. Commissioner Austin Aragon. Approved. Commissioner Cortese. Approved. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Kylie Epstein. Approved. Commissioner Logan Epstein. Approved. Commissioner Fisher. Approved. Commissioner Guzman. Approved. Commissioner Kelly. Approved. Commissioner took, let's see, um, Commissioner Cooper Norby. Approved. Commissioner Hank Norby. Approved. Commissioner Axel Polito. Approved. Commissioner Layla Polito. Approved. Commissioner Jacqueline Reynaga. Approved. Commissioner Nicole Reynaga. Approved. And Commissioner Webster. Approved. Thank you. All right, so approval of agenda. So the next slide, please. Um, the report of the agenda posting, it was posted on January 3rd at 4 p.m. Uh, next slide. Okay, so we do not have any ceremonial presentations or any written oral communications from the public. Um, so Chair Renago, we are on item three, which is consent calendar. Um, so we are looking for a motion and a second to approve the consent calendar, which is um, the minutes from the December 2nd, 2021 meeting. If we can please get a motion and a second. Uh, I, Nicole Renaga, make a motion to approve the minutes for the December 2nd, 2021 Youth Commission regular meeting. And I, Maxine Kelly, second this motion. Okay, we're going to move on to roll call then to approve the consent calendar. Um, thank you, Lauren. Um, Commissioner Abbey? Approve. Commissioner Arledge? Approve. Commissioner Aspen Aragon? Approve. Commissioner Austin Aragon? Approve. Commissioner Cortese? Approved. Commissioner Kylie Epstein? Approved. Commissioner Logan Epstein? Approved. Commissioner Fisher? Approved. Commissioner Guzman? Approved. Commissioner Kelly? Approved. Commissioner Cooper Norby? Approved. Commissioner Hank Norby? Approved. Commissioner Axel Polito? Approved. Commissioner Layla Polito? Approved. Commissioner Jacqueline Reynaga? Approved. Commissioner Nicole Reynaga? Approved. And Commissioner Webster. And just for clarification, Approved. Dakota, Dakota Moore, you are absent, correct? Dakota is not here. Okay, let me just make that adjustment. Okay, um, so we don't have any old business. So Nicole, you are good to move the meeting on to new business. Okay, um, perfect. Item 5A is the health and wellness program. And the recommended action is to discuss the format and recommended activities for the 2022 health and wellness program. Great. Um, so in your staff report, um, what we're looking to do is just receive feedback from the Youth Commission um, on what types of health and wellness programs um, the commission is interested in potentially running um, to um, suffice this work plan goal from council. Um, so the work plan goal is to coordinate a teen and health and wellness event and pro or program to encourage physical fitness and or mental wellness. Um, and so in the past, um, the commission has partnered with Pure Bar, Five Point Yoga, and done some like in-person physical fitness, health and wellness um, programs. Um, in 2020, um, with the pandemic, and 2021, um, excuse me, in 2020, it was canceled. And in 2021, it was more of like independent. Um, where commissioners, um, we dedicated a day where commissioners went out and um, just made sure that they were participating in a, in a health and wellness activity. Um, and so what we're looking for the commission for 2022 is, do you wanna bring back this event in person with physical distancing? What type of programs would you be interested in participating in? Do you want it to be a Zoom lecture, um, you know, about mental wellness and things you can do to help combat, you know, stress or um, independent activities? But I'm um, no one, we don't need to vote on anything tonight. We just basically want to hear feedback of stuff you may be interested in doing. And Lauren, I'm going to go ahead and admit um, Chloe. Um, into the meeting. I think she just might have, uh, Chloe Loki. So she's going to enter the meeting at 710. So Nicole, it's yours to take. Um, I think if we could try to do something physically distant, that would be kind of cool. Maybe we could do like physically um, distant, like yoga or something. So I think that'd be a great way to um, kind of bond. And I think that would be really fun. 
But if we couldn't, um, also a lecture on stress, I think is a good idea because I know, especially like just going through like college applications and we have a lot of juniors too, probably taking the ACT, SAT, I think there's a lot of stress. So that would be another good idea. We should go ahead and call on some commissioners just because this um, agenda is just like a lot about feedback since we don't have any uh, to vote. So um, let's see. So Kylie, um, would you be interested in something in person or um, online? And if so, what type of activities would you be interested in? Kylie, do you have any thoughts? Sorry, it was cutting off. Okay. I didn't hear what you said. No, it's okay. Um, so for the health and wellness program, would you prefer something in person or would you prefer um, like a presentation over Zoom? I think a Zoom presentation might be better because it's more accessible and it's more easy with people's schedules and where they might be at certain times. Okay. Um, would you um, prefer something more like a, a physical fitness activity over Zoom or like a lecture um, presentation on something related more to mental health? Um, I think during COVID a mental health uh, presentation would be good. Okay. Um, so if any other commissioners can please unmute themselves. Um, the two items that we have on the agenda is just really about feedback and just getting ideas. Um, so we're not set on any ideas right now, but if you can just unmute yourself, please, and state your name and just um, what you would be interested in, please. Um, I think that we should do it in person because from what I've learned from school, doing like yoga and all that stuff from distance is not that easy, so, uh, but doing it in person, you could teach more and learn more about it. So I think we should do it in person. Um, and I think, I mean, I would rather do it in person, but it might be, as Kylie said, better and more accessible to people online. Uh, thank you, Axel and Layla. If we could just get maybe like two more commissioners with feedback so then um, staff can go back and start creating some ideas for you guys. I um. Uh, Commissioner Cortese, I agree with the on Zoom, although it's not as fun. I know that there's been a bunch of like COVID outbreaks and people are scared. And I feel like it's like, I forgot who said it. It's more accessible and easier, but we could still do something fun on Zoom. I mean, mental health is nice, but I don't know. Maybe we can make it a little more fun for us. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So something with um, a lot of like interaction and activities, even though you are at home type thing. Okay. I agree that um, Zoom's probably better just because now it's kind of bad time to do gatherings in person. But I think a, a fitness thing on Zoom would be more engaging than a mental health thing. It's hard to pay attention on Zoom. Okay, okay. perfect. Awesome. Well, I appreciate this feedback. So we'll go ahead and like reach out to some people and see if we can get scheduled for the commission. So that was all we needed to kind of achieve on this item was just, it's just basically like an introduction to the health and wellness program and just, um, just a general brainstorm so just so we can start, um, get the ball rolling. So, um, Chair Rinaga, we are good to move on to five B whenever you are ready. Okay. Uh, five B is the life skills program. And the recommended action is to discuss the format and recommend activities for the 2022 Life Skills Program. Okay, thank you. Um, so the Life Skills Program is, it was developed because um, some commissioners years and years ago, um, they said that there were certain life skills that they felt like that they didn't learn in high school. So, and this is like, I'm going to tell you, this is like a few years ago. So balancing a checkbook, which might be, is like completely mundane, probably not necessary now. That was something they wanted to learn then. Someone said that they needed to learn how to learn how to put a spare tire on their car if they were ever stuck on the side of the road and a tow truck couldn't get to them. So the development of the life skills program work plan goal is basically for the youth commission to develop and host a life skills program for, and I said, I know it says high school students and middle school students. So this would just be like a one hour workshop of something that the commission really felt that they just wanted to get more information on, on a life skill that they wanted to just like really, you know, achieve. So in the past we've hosted, um, 
SAT prep classes, right? Because hopefully most students want to do well in the SAT if they take it. Um, we've done interview skills workshops where it's like, if you go into a job interview, this is, these are like your helpful tips on, you know, to really get that job and be successful. Um, the Youth Commission has also co-sponsored the Malibu High um, career night and college night, we're all, you know, either you have speakers with different professions um, or you have colleges coming in to present. Um, and then last year we did try to do a virtual cooking workshop. Um, again, cooking is a life skill, um, but that one kind of didn't work out because we couldn't find an instructor. Um, so for this item commission, we're just looking for whether you would prefer it to be again in person or on Zoom. Um, and what types of life skills um, would you think the commission would benefit as a whole on just learning learning something. So if you just want to mute yourself and say your name and just maybe a life skill um, that you think would be beneficial for the commission to learn. Well, um, I'm Maxine Kelly and personally, I think learning how to change tire and just car skills would be very helpful. Um, Austin, um, what is a life skill you would be interested in, in getting more information about? Um, maybe like some type of finance skill, like with taxes or something. I, cause I find that is kind of confusing sometimes. And I think that'd be helpful. Wonderful idea. Let's see. Um, Luke, what is something that you would be into? What type of life skill you would be interested in getting more information on? Uh, I think also finance related, uh, how to pay taxes and stuff related to that. Okay. All right. Is there anything other um, than Maxine's suggestion on, you know, maybe something automotive related um, versus um, finance, taxes, um, anything college related or job related? Go ahead, Chloe. Well, um, also, um, maybe like how to build a resume, that would be interesting or like not, not necessarily for college, but like career or college. Okay. Um, I'm Jazz. I think anything like a job or college interview would be helpful, especially like with college apps. <laughs> Uh, I also agree with Jazz. I think an interview would be a good idea. And I also think maybe like learning basic first aid might be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, they do have some, have some courses called like um, sidewalk CPR and sidewalk first aid. It's literally like, an, you don't get a certification, but you get the knowledge of just, you know, some things like that. Um, for college interviews, are those being done virtually right now? Do you no longer just write an essay? Are you actually interviewing with someone over Zoom? A lot of colleges are having like optional interviews that you can do. And then some like after you apply, they'll be like, hey, you could interview if you want, but it's mostly online. Okay. Well, this is like a great start for us. Again, these two items were just brainstorming. We've done a lot of assignments. We've been really successful in a lot of assignments already this year for the Youth Commission. So these last two are kind of like the last two big, big assignments. Um, in addition to our normal like community service learning and donation drives. Um, so we just wanted to start opening up, you know, some conversation topics on what we can do, because these will be able, two of our bigger um, programs that we do before June. So um, we are good on 5B, uh, Cherry Naga. You can move us on to 5C. Okay, uh, 5C is the regular meeting schedule, and the recommended action is to, one, review the regular meeting schedule, and two, Determine if there is a quorum, the regular meeting scheduled for April 7th, 2022. Thank you. Um, so on the third page of the agenda um, this month, um, at the bottom of the agenda, it always says when our next meetings are. Um, so it says future meetings. And so the Youth Commission meetings are held the first Thursday of the month at seven. So our next three meetings, for example, are February 3rd, March 3rd, and April 7th. And so what we have this item for is April 7th is um, the SMMUSD spring break. So I know not all of you are SMMUSD students, but that is spring break for a good amount of you. And so what we'd like to do with this item is see if the commission wants to move the meeting 
unfortunately it would be either two weeks up or two weeks back, just because of the length of spring break, um, it would put it very close to your, either your March meeting or your May meeting or determine if there is a quorum means, do you think there would be enough commissioners there to continue with that meeting or whether the commission just wanted to cancel it um, ahead of time because you feel like you would be traveling and not in the area accessible for a meeting. So um, this one does require a little more participation. It's a very quick participation, but just like unmuting yourself, um, you know, if maybe you are an MHS student or if your spring break falls on that week right before um, those holidays and just to see whether you'd be in town, keep the meeting uh, scheduled, or if you do not feel you'd be here to make a quorum. So I'll go ahead and mute and let you guys just let me know your thoughts. I know I won't be here on, for that meeting. I yeah, also but... won't be here. I'll be out of town. Me too. <laughs> okay, really quick. No, this is, it's totally fine. Um, but just, I have to write this down. So um, I know Cooper. Um, so before you say I, if you can just say your name and then what your status is, then I can write it down. So Cooper, I got you, but continue. Um, Aspen and Austin, we both uh, are traveling that week. And then I'm Maxine, and I'm going to be traveling, too. I, Hank, will be traveling, too. I, Colton, will be traveling, too. Hi, um, Logan, and Kylie will be traveling, also. Um, Layla and Axel are going to be traveling, too. Okay. So what we can do now is that's like a consensus that that's like a big part of the group. Um, so if someone wants to make a motion and a second, um, that we would not have a quorum, I know it's kind of like a fancy word, but just that we would not have enough commissioners present on April 7th and that we can go ahead and cancel the April 7th meeting. So then we would have meetings February, March, and then May and June. So, um, if that's the direction that the commission wants to go for April 7th, um, if I can please get a motion and a second. So you would be making a motion to cancel the April 7th Youth Commission meeting. That would be the words you would say. Um, I, Nicole Renaga, make a motion to cancel the regular meeting scheduled for April 7th, um, 2022. I hate Norby, second the motion. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go into roll call for that. Um, Commissioner Abbey? Approved. Commissioner Arledge? Approved. Commissioner Aspen Aragon? Approved. Commissioner Austin Aragon? Approved. Commissioner Cortezzi? Approved. Commissioner Epstein? Kylie Epstein? Approved. Commissioner Logan Epstein? Approved. Commissioner Fisher? Approved. Commissioner Guzman? Approved. Commissioner Kelly? Approved. Commissioner, let's see, uh, Cooper Norby? Approved. Commissioner Hank Norby? Approved. Commissioner Axel Polito? Approved. Commissioner Layla Polito? Approved. Commissioner Jacqueline Reynaga? Approved. Commissioner Nicole Reynaga? Approved. And Commissioner Webster? Approved. Great. All right, Nicole, we will move on to the next item, which is staff updates. Just want to share a few updates on a few things going on for the commission. Um, so we received over 50 toys um, for the December toy drive. So this is a picture. Um, our recreation coordinator, Lauren Davis, she um, collected all the toys that you guys donated at the Michael Lehman Center um, and took them down to the fire department um, to um, add to the LA Firefighter Foundation Spark of Love. So I just want you guys to see this picture, but it was a really substantial donation and the firefighters were so grateful um, to add this to their donation for the kids. So great job on the toy drive. Next slide. So our next um, community service learning opportunity is the uh, toiletry donation drive um, to benefit um, the people's concern, which is um, they uh, assist with homeless and unhoused individuals. Um, so just to keep um, the commissioners like up to date that that one's at the end of this month. So that one's January 29th and 30th, and it'll be the same boxes at Bluffs Park from 10 to 4 um, with that same checkoff sheet while you're, you know, mark off. So they just ask that the items are unused. So just sealed, but whether that's 
um, toothbrush and toothpaste, shampoos, conditioners, just like any types of toiletries. Um, this will be the next um, donation drive um, for the community service learning projects. Next slide. Um, for the student art exhibit, so the uh, Youth Commission Coast, they voted to co-host this exhibit. We have 15 um, pieces of art thus far. Um, usually for this exhibit, it's closer. It's in the hundreds. So I know there is no art teacher at one of the elementary schools right now, which is kind of hard because the art teachers are really helpful. Um, but I just wanted to let the Youth Commission know that they are extending the deadline to Tuesday, January 18th. So it's the right after Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Um, but if as youth commissioners, if you guys can really kind of spread the word in the community about the student art exhibit, um, we really want it to be like a substantial art exhibit. So even if it's not at City Hall, we'll do a small exhibit at Bluffs Park. Um, but I just feel that since there are limited amount of art teachers in the schools, it's just really affecting our ability to reach out to young artists. Um, so whether um, either any of you are artists or photography or painting or drawing or uh, performance art and videos. Um, we're accepting all different types of genre um, for the student art exhibit. And then also um, we'll be curating the exhibit on the weekend of February 4th and 5th. Um, so I'll send an email out to commissioners in case um, anyone would like to come down and help us get the artwork on the wall. So I just want to share that with you that you know any type of additional marketing or spreading the word you can of this program, it would be really great. Next slide. Um, and just a friendly reminder that the Youth Government Summit is next month. So on February 3rd, um, in addition to our meeting at seven o'clock, like we had tonight, we'll all log in at six o'clock for the Youth Government Summit. So um, we'll go ahead and make sure that that agenda is a little lighter. So it's not going to be like a long meeting following the summit. Um, but just a reminder that we'll ask everybody to log on at six o'clock. Um, and we do have three confirmed speakers. Our third, uh, third speaker confirmed right after we did this um, presentation. But we do have Casey Ernest, who is the C, um, CEO of the Malibu Boys and Girls Club. So she's going to provide a lot of insight on nonprofits. Um, Jeremy Wolf is the district director for California State Senator Henry Stern. Um, Jeremy also went to high school at Malibu High. So he's going to kind of give you advice on how he went from a Malibu High grad to um, a district director for a state senator. Um, and then also um, Austin Tamoya is the environmental sustainability coordinator for the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. Um, and he's going to come talk about environmental sustainability and how he got into that role and in the importance of envir environmental sustainability. So um, I'll send a reminder email that at our next meeting, just to everyone knows, we'll log in at six instead of seven. Um, next slide. And um, just a reminder, this is a little early, but applications for next year's Youth Commission, if you're not a current senior, um, the application period will be February 1st to March 25th. Um, we'll make sure that everybody receives the flyer, but it'll be the same thing as last year where you submitted online and then did a, um, a filmed candidate statement and uploaded the video. Um, but February 1st, so just around next month, we'll be putting this up as reminders for the February and the March meeting, but just want to let all the commission know that that's right around the corner as well. Um, next slide. Okay, so that's um, complete staff updates. Um, so unless um, any other commissioners have any agenda items that they would want on a future agenda, um, then we would be ready to adjourn the meeting with a motion and second, and then I would do the roll call. Uh, Jazz Abbey, make a motion to adjourn. I, Cooper Norby, second that motion. Thank you, Jazz and Cooper. So I'm going to one, run through the um, commission list one more time. Um, Commissioner Abbey. Approve. Commissioner Arledge. Approve. Commissioner Aspen Aragon. Approve. Commissioner Austin Aragon. Approve. Commissioner Cortezzi. Approve. Commissioner Kylie Epstein. Approve. Commissioner Logan Epstein. Approve. Commissioner Fisher. Approve. Commissioner Guzman. Approve. Commissioner Kelly. Approve. Commissioner Cooper Norby. Approve. Commissioner Hank Norby. Approved. Commissioner Axel Polito. Approved. Commissioner Layla Polito. Approved. Commissioner Jacqueline Reynaga. Approved. Commissioner Nicole Reynaga. Approved. And Commissioner Webster. Approved.
All right, meeting adjourned. I hope you guys stay safe. Can't wait to see you guys in February for the government summit, okay? Take care. Thank you, you too. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.